welcome to this nerd. Today we're going to be talking about how to install the mods into Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, this is early access and it is for the patch number 3, which is just latest as of today, which is January 19th, 21, 2021. Alright, let's get started. So first, um, just open up whatever web browser. I use Nexus Mods. I can't really find any other Baldur's Gate mods anywhere else. Um, not even Steam Workshop. If anybody knows the Steam Workshop link that has Baldur's Gate, please send me some. <laughs> um, so anyways, uh, today what we're doing is the Sorcerer. Uh, what I do is I just... Uh, I'm in the Baldur's Gate 3 Nexus mods. I like to just filter for the... They have a lot of nice little filters in here. Uh, what I did, I just select classes. Uh, and then, uh, so today what we're going to talk about is the Sorcerer. I have a lot of questions about this. Um, not the Sorcerer, but all the classes together. So these are actually... They're technically not mods because they're in the code. Um, just the creators have not implemented them into the game yet. So what these guys have done, they just took the code, they said, and just pretty much put it in the game. Um, so let's look at the Sorcerer. Um, this has all the subclasses too, it looks like. So what we want to do, um, I, I believe you have to log in to do this. But if you um, say you want this mod, you just hit manual to download. I'll also include all the links down below. Uh, so these are required. I already downloaded all these, but you definitely want to get these cantrips spells. These are also the, the hidden little spells of cantrips in the back. Um, we're using patch three, so we're obviously going to want that. Okay. Actually should download that. So once you hit download, um, this will be the same for the Sorcerer one. Um, I don't pay, you can pay if you want. Uh, so what I do, I just hit slow download, it'll start. Of course you'll get the little download thing. Now don't, ex don't extract these files. Um, so that, don't extract the Sorcerer, don't extract the spells, don't extract um, the cantrips or the mod fixer as well. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move everything over to the desktop. Uh, so you can see on my desktop I have the Candor uh, mod manager. I will have the link in the description for you. It's just right here, I did the same thing. Manual download, slow, it downloaded just fine. Uh, so that one we do have to extract. So what I did, I just extracted it to my desktop. So let's double click this, this is our first step. Um, our, extract, our extracted file uh, will look something like this. We are going to open the exe file. Uh, run as admin computer will get cranky at you if you don't. Um, see, mine asked me if I want... This is... The Larry launcher is the launcher for Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, what I do is I just hit load new game every time I start. Um, or every time I add a new mod. That was, yeah. And then, um, so we just find the, the path. So you want the EAXE file for Baldur's Gate 3. Um, this will be for the GOG version. The, um, the Steam version is a little different. Um, it'll just be in a different spot. Like I think it's Steam, Common Apps, and then the game name. Um, but I have mine in my E drive. And then um, I have it in the games file. And then uh, Baldur's Gate. We're gonna find the bin file. I run the DirectX 11. Uh, this is just the standard uh, Baldur's Gate 3 with uh, Vulkan, I believe. Um, since I'm running DX11, I feel like it looks better. You could 
have different results. Uh, but anyways, DX11 is what I'm running, so I'm going to hit that .exe file, and then we hit open here. Uh, when you do this the first time, it will ask you for your profile, so different profiles can have different mods, which is kind of cool. Um, we just hit OK on that. You can see all my mods already on here. Uh, but what we do is we can just hit Add Mods. Uh, we'd go to the desktop. It's important to make sure these cantrips and spells are first. You just you can actually multi-select. Just hit all of them. It's already duplicated. It's gonna yell at me. Okay. Um, I already have this applied. It's right here. But all you do is you have to hit um, each one. You'll have to do each one manually. Um, you just hit add mods, or sorry, install selected mod, so you'd hit install, and then, um, yeah, that's it. Once you do that, you don't have to mess around with your file components or anything, and then, uh, just, just play the game after that, and I'll be there. Cool. Well, thank you for watching, like, su like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, follow me on YouTube, everything's appreciated, thank you.